Hello everyone, welcome to the Study Hacks Institute of GIS and Remote Sensing. Today I will try to show you very important topic. So mainly how we can easily use the R programming language to make the interactive web application, mainly interactive web mapping using R Studio in R programming language. So here you can say I already create this type of uh, things. Here you can see. So basically it show about the uh, population data. And we can easily get the listen bar. We are also get this type of interactive map. And when you click any kinds of uh, district, then we can easily get how much population about this. This too can easily get this information. So here you can so you can get about this information about that. Okay. So it's a one kind of interactive mapping, web mapping. So I will show you the step by step. So I hope after completing these things, you are able to do any kind of web interactive mapping using R Studio in R programming. Okay. So first of all, I try to open a new script. So here you can see this is a blank script. So first of all, we have to install the two packages. One package is called the tmap, another package is called the sf. So how I can install the package? Very easy. You can simply click on the package. So now it show you all of those packages. And when you want to install a new package, you are just click on the install and write the package name. Suppose I simply put the package name is the T map, and then you can see the install button. So now I already installed it, so that's that's why I can get this type of information. I would to uh, install again, so I just click the yes. So now you can see it restoring my R Studio, and now it also install again about the T map package. So now it's working when you install the tmap package so basically this tmap package we are used to making the different types of interactive web mapping for vector or raster layer so now it's working you can see now it uh, is starting the installing process download the tmap package in my system and then it automatically install so now you can see it show about the tmap successfully unpacked okay Further, we also need to install the another package. It's called the SF package. So basically, using the SF package, we are just um, handling the different types of vector layer. So just click on the install again, and further just write the package name, mainly SF. So just we simply search here SF. So here you can see SF package, and further click on the install. So now it also is installing the SF Okay, it's done. So you can see it show about the successfully uh, unpack the SF packages. So now I just simply import the two packages. One is the tmap, another is the SF. So just I use a function. It's called the library function. So mainly when you want to import any packages, then we have to use here the library. Okay, and then put the package name. First package is the tmap. I simply write the package name, tmap. And further, in click to the run, you can see run button. So it it, it show it successfully imported. There is no error. It means that this package is successfully installed in here. And further, I just take the again another library. So basically, I import the sf in this time. So just I simply import the sf package. Okay. So now it also showing the successfully in, uh, imported the sf package. In this time, I want to import it my boundary shape file. Okay, so which is boundary I want to use. So for that, first of all, I need to import the boundary shape file. So for that, I simply take a variable name, suppose uh, boundary. Okay, and then I want to read this shape file. So for that, just use here the read, and then call the sf function. Basically, this function we are used to read the shape file. 
so now we have to mention about the shape file name so here you can see files option i already uh, stored my shape file in here so from here i just simply import the shape file name here you can see uh, it's my population uh, bd.ssv this is my shape file variable name so i already stored uh, this uh, shape file in my directory folder okay it's my directory folder i simply uh, stored these things so for that i just simply write this name in here my file name is that uh, this is the file name so i just i write here the population this file name i simply write population underscore uh, bd dot sp so just i simply put this file name and i want to store these things in the variable this variable is the boundary so it's my variable name and these things i want to store it okay so read read sf so basically it's a function it's come from the sf library so read sf so basically it's uh, help you to read this shape file so now further click the run we check what happened so you can see it also show about these things and now if you want you can just simply print this boundary suppose i just simply print this variable boundary which stored my shape file so now print that so now you can get all of this information about our shape file attribute table so here i can get what is the district name so it show about the all of those district it is the district code we can get the population mainly we can get the population number is this column okay it is stored the population number of each district so now i want to make a interactive population map okay for this boundary using the help of pmap packages so what can i do it's very easy just you simply take a variable suppose tm i just put a variable tm okay and further i just call the tm underscore step so it's another kind of function basically it's come from the tmap library i want to make the shape for boundary i simply copy this variable boundary and then paste here okay and further i want to add a polygon so basically i want to add the information suppose for population so here in this time you can easily add the different types of uh, field or column with including the different types of information so i want to make the population density so that's why i need to work with this column so for that i simply copy the column name and further just use here the plus sign i want to plus a tm underscore polygon so i want to use here this this function polygons and then paste this column name my column name is that i already copy and paste here so now i just click the run and then check what happened okay it, it show there is no problem so just i want to tm i want to just print this variable and then check what happened okay so now it's so this type of map okay it show the aesthetic aesthetic map okay there is no interactive just show as a image okay but i want to make a interactive mapping so that's why i can easily zoom i can easily find out any information when i click on this map so this type of things i want to add on my map so for doing these things i just simply call a function it's called the t map t map mode so just i put at the mode t map mode in this time i set at the view mode okay when you want to make the interactive mapping we have to set the view mode so just i put at the view t f map view mode and then click to the run in this time you can see it show about that t map mode set to the interactive viewing okay so basically t f map uh, t f map underscore mode this function now when i put at the view so now it show about the t f mapping view so for that what can i do same process just i apply simply i copy this line of code from here and then paste in here again okay so now further click the run and also print this tm okay then click the run in this time it created the interactive web mapping so just i click the run and also print this tm so now i can see it or uh, start the working and now it created the interactive mapping 
so that's why i can easily zoom in and zoom out as well as i can easily add the different types of base map and when i click on this map it show the information here you can see it show the lesion in here as well as i can easily change the different types of this map you can see top world topographic map or if you want you can also add, add the other types of base map for your map you can easily zoom in or also zoom out we can easily do it in here as well as you can also click on this map you can see it show about that district name so you can get the interactive mapping so here you can see it's at Hakka. we can get the gajipur naran guns so it also show about the level of your district name and when you can click on here we can get the information how much population click on here i can get the how much population click on here i can get the how much population okay so it also show about the population number okay here you can see i can get the population number about that you can see okay and it's about from the lesion you can easily get it's a high population you can get in the dhaka city or also get the color graduate color you can get from here okay so click on here you can get about the information about this so basically this is the process to making the interactive web mapping in r studio using r programming language so now further if you want you can also save this map as a html file or if you want you can also save this map as a image okay so for that it's very easy just you have to use a function this function called the key map save Step, just use this function and then call this variable name tm because this variable is stored at the full things and then comma sign and put the file name okay file name i put the file name suppose uh bd you can put any name as a file name and put the extension suppose i put the extension is the html so now this is my file name bd pop i put the extension the html so now further click to the run in this time it will be saving as the html file okay so now i can easily use this html file other any kinds of other web mapping project or other any kinds of web uh, mapping i can easily add this html file so now you can see it will be working for saving the html file it uh, takes some time it's mainly depend on your uh, data set so you can easily get this idea you can see it show about this red alert sign so using this red alert sign you can easily get the idea now it's working okay so when it will be finished then it will be show the successfully finish about that so now you can see it show the red alert sign it means that so now it's interpreting this code and we need to wait for the result okay so after doing these things you can simply check in your files so it, in this time it takes some time okay so here you can see find out this folder here you can say i already saved this uh another file you can get this type of html folder just simply click on here so now i can easily open it in a browser so just i open a new browser and try to show you this uh my previous work 
So after using this code, you can simply save it as a HTML, and then you can easily get this file in your directory. And further from here, we are just opening this HTML file. So now it's working. So here you can see it show this type of map in here. Okay, so you can easily now it show in our browser HTML file. So you can easily uh create any kinds of web interactive mapping and you can easily visualize as HTML file. So you also try your own data set. Okay, and if you want to join my online training program on R Studio, mainly how we can easily create the different types of map using R Studio, then you can easily join. So today is no more you also try to practice and further face any problem then let me know thank you for watching that <coughs>